Jesus oftentimes talked in parables. Parables can be interpreted by different scholars different ways. But one of the ways that I like to look at parables are they're either comic, which means that the antagonist in the parable or the main person in the parable ends up positive, or they can be tragic parables. The parable of the laborers in the vineyard, for example, is a tragic parable because the laborers got exactly what they agreed to when they did their labor, but because others received the same amount, they became unhappy. But there was a choice there. There was an attitude that was theirs. They should have been happy. They got a full day's wage and a full day's work in. They should be happy and that should have been it. But it's because of their attitudes that is tragic. Or the parable of the prodigal son. One son goes away and squanders half his inheritance. The other son stays home and is faithful to his father. The prodigal son returns home and they throw a party. And who is outside begrudging that party? It's his brother. It's tragic. We, he couldn't enjoy the party because of what he considered to be unfair. The father told him, hey, all that I have is yours, left is yours. And I've always appreciated you being with me. But your brother was lost and now is found. Let's celebrate. Have a party. How many times, and I know I do this often in my own life, how many times am I a prisoner to myself? How many times am I, do I imprison myself? Not to enjoy something or appreciate something or do something because of some deep hidden feeling or resentment or jealousy or whatever it might be. And this is a transforming time, to say the least. We're not going to be the same as we were before we entered this time of coronavirus, this time of isolation, this time of restriction, this time of economic downturn. We're not going to be in this all the time. And, but when we get out of it, it won't be like it used to be. I just pray that at least for my sake and for my life, that I won't be what I used to be either. That I've used this time to grow closer to God, closer to the scriptures. I certainly have used this time to be closer to my wife. And so I thank God for this time. Maybe a virus never meant for evil, but God can use it and mean it for good. Find the good in today. Well, that's what I have to share with you this morning. Sunday morning, I'll be back here at the church in the sanctuary. Don't come. <laughs> Don't come. That ruins everything. But on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, the same time that we have our regular worship service, we will have communion together. I will be live on YouTube, and if I can figure it out, also be live at the same time on Facebook. If you can't join us at 10 o'clock next Sunday, that uh, you can do it uh, by yourself or in your own home at your own time. Just know that all of the elements that we're passing out have already been consecrated by me. And so uh, on Sunday morning, they'll be giving a second consecration. Keep safe, looking forward to the time when we can be together again. God bless you, Mossville.